How's it going guys, RXXC here, and yes, I have some more unboxings, uh, actually, Wonton's Watchbacks, uh, I'll put a uh, link to his channel down in the description, it was actually at uh, Anime Expo and did a little shopping for me, so uh, this video is kind of sponsored by Wonton, I paid him for it, but still I wouldn't have it if uh, he wouldn't have been there for me, and also I got a little surprise from uh, Kimbo, uh, a, a very good Baku tuber, so this video is going to be pretty cool, y'all stick around and enjoy the intro, see you there. Alright guys, and we're back, and as you can see, we have the Darkest Lupithion 3-pack, the Chaos Nobilius 3-pack, and the Pyrus Nilius 3-pack. This is probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. There were a couple that we didn't pick up just for playability reasons, uh, and having to just save money, because um, some of them are pretty trash, but uh, these are the most interesting to us. This is supposed to have a cool Evo. Um, this has really cool like core ability stuff. This is going to be my first Trino, so I wanted that anyway. Uh, a Kubo, so why not? Um, and a Trox, so why not? I think this actually completes my Trox collection. Uh, and then Lupithion is gorgeous. So, I'm gonna break all these out at once. We're gonna have nine Bakugan on the table, and it's gonna be a little Bakugan opening party, because I didn't want to spread this out for y'all and just waste your time. So, we're gonna throw it all together at once and check them all out. See y'all there. Alright guys, that was a lot to unpack. Um, as you can see, we have a good bit of stuff on the table. Um, and to spare time, I'm not gonna go through all the cores. Really, the only thing of note is a 650, um, a plus 6. This Helix, which isn't the best thing in the world, this one's a little bit better, and a 600. Um, and then the Aquas Darkest Shield. So, uh, they'll be out on the table, so you can check them out if you want. Um, but let's go into the Bakugan. I'm gonna go left to right and just work my way through, because there's no really particular order. So, uh, Darkest Lupithion Ultra. Um, this is one of my favorite sculpts. Uh, if you didn't know, um, Lupithion is so cool. Uh, I have a Chaos one. I'm ready for the Ventus one to come out. Because uh, that's going to be my favorite one, obviously, because I love Ventus. Uh, does his arms come forward? No, okay, cool. Uh, so, um, he's a really cool man with all the black uh, and the, the purple accents and then the green. They use a lot of it on his claws and stuff, and it really makes it pop and come out. It's really nice. Um, ball form, he always looks so cool. Uh, it's kind of annoying to get in a ball form. Hold on. Kind of gotta push, push him around, but that's so awesome. He's so like sharp with all the green and stuff because it's on his claws. It's so cool. I don't know if you can. There we go. I always have trouble making him stand, uh, but he's still an awesome Bakugan. Um, let's see what his card does. Green Fist, Red Shield. Let me check mine. There you go. Uh, 505, which is pretty uh, pretty cool. And then if Victor, all players must discard a card. So, um, can get interesting, especially if you're playing like Darkest stuff, obviously. Um, you're going to be playing Darkest stuff, but if you're playing like Control stuff, uh, that's going to be a really neat card for you to play with, because um, your opponent loses a card and you can do some of your ability stuff. Like, uh, was it Shadow Coil? Did yeah. you... Well, China Riot, but like Shadow Coil gives you like attack power or something when you discard it. Yeah, so cool stuff like that. Uh, it comes with Sonic Shield, um, Red, uh, Green Fist, Red Fist. That's actually pretty cool. I love these style flips for the cores. Um, if you kind of know the field that you're playing in, they can be uh, pretty helpful. Uh, we're gonna have a little tournament uh, recap video coming soon on a video or on a tournament we had recently, uh, and we're gonna check that out. So. Um, Pyrus Gorthion, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on because we already have an opening of him on the channel. Uh, but there he is. He's just a monkey. He's pretty cool. Um, and he comes with Blaze, which is a 4 cost plus 10 damage. Um, I'm sure this has its place somewhere, uh, but I don't play Pyrus a lot, so that's cool. I also have like a million of that card. Anyway, uh, there's the Gorthion. Double Green Fist, so if you're looking for a Pyrus option for Peg, um, I guess this is an option. Uh, it gets a green fist bonus, it's plus 100B and plus 2 attack. So, uh, there you go. Uh, so, this is my first Chaos Trox, so I'm very excited for it. I love the Chaos colors, and I love Trox, as you all know. Um, but he's looking really cute. He's a little Pac-Man dinosaur, and he's got the cool design. Um, 
Really looking to get a custom Trox. Man, if you haven't seen Fang Shaman's custom Hayat's Trox, it's dope. Go check out his video on his channel. Um, it'll probably be in the next custom showcase, which is also coming soon. Uh, I'll be working on that here uh, shortly, actually. So be on the lookout for that. But there you go, Hayat's Trox. Um, Magic Shield Helix. That's a very powerful combination because, I mean, you can bring a 600 and 650 to the table if you'd like. Uh, so that is an interesting combination, uh, say the least. Uh, but 300 B3, uh, and if you land on the Magic Shield, you get three Frost Strike. So turn one, you can hit, well, I guess it doesn't matter what Frost Strike for turn one, but you get what I'm saying. Magic Shield, you get a bunch of B power, and then three Frost Strike is never a bad thing. So pretty cool. There you go, Chaos Trox. It comes with the Divine Inspiration. I think they all kind of know what that does. Four cost for plus seven damage. So. Moving into everything's pretty much new stuff except this. So, um, this is Core Phaedrus Inventus. Uh, this is my second little Phaedrus. The only one I have. Oh no, I have a normal darkest one now. I think. I don't know. I, have, I know I have the the, the the diamond one, but here it is, Inventus. Let's see if I can jacuzzi that. Nope. Just kidding. Boom. Yeah. Very very long, long Bakugan, but I love the Ventus coloration on this thing. Uh, it takes off like the whole camera. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, I love the little feet on them. They're, I like I like that design feature actually because it keeps them keeps them up even though its head still kind of falls down, but it, it's still pretty cool. Uh, the tail folds out and gives you a lot of length to this thing, and it does spring out forward, so you do get a good like kind of Fangzor action. But it's definitely heavier than Fangzor. So you do get a little bit of like uh, batting away action. So pretty cool Bakugan in that respect. Uh, but I love the coloration on it. Uh, I actually don't know these stats, so let's check them out. Red Fist uh, Helix. That's going to give you 300 B and 5 damage. Not bad for Ventus because it's kind of hard to get good Ventus Bakugan with attack damage. Uh, on that Red Fist, you're going to get 300 B. So you're going to be getting like 250 off of a red shield, so like five, so like you'll be at like, yeah, 850, Eight. 858 is really what you're kind of going for there. That's pretty neat. Um, that's not the worst thing in the world. So, uh, solar powered is what comes with it. This is a good card. Three cost, energize this uncharged, and you may reroll your Bakugan. I love this card uh, because it helps with the ramping and it's a reroll. It's just a three cost, so it, it kind of needs to find its place sometimes. Uh, let's look at Orlis Cubo. So, if you haven't seen Cubo yet, he's cute. Um, here he is in ball form. Um, and this is the Orlis version. So, and he just kind of falls over when you do that. But he's mean. He's got little teeth in his mouth. Uh, kind of funny looking. But uh, that is Cubo. And he's got a little backpack. And it's made in China. So, Cubo is Chinese, if you didn't know. Or he's going on a Chinese adventure. Either one. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, Orlos Cabo, we have a Red Shield Helix, 200B, uh, 7 attack, 7 attack's pretty good. You may re-roll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it, so um, it's got uh, automatic re-roll function in it, so it's not bad, but 200B, guys, is not good at this state in the game. So, Shargo Ronin, uh, this is a pretty cool card, 1 cost, when you open a Bakugan it gets 100B. Uh, so just kind of a all-the-time little B-Power boost. So maybe you can boost your Cubo up to 300 with that. Still not good. Anyway, um, Chaos Nobilius. Man, uh, I love Nobilius. The Pyrus one currently is definitely, definitely the best one. Um, and he has these little feet in the back that if you put him up, he sits up straight. And it's a lot better than just like falling down like that. Anyway, uh, the coloration on this is awesome. They put the, all the blue in all the right places. I love this big blue band in the front. His beak comes to the front and is blue. And I don't know, these little stripes on the back are really awesome. Uh, I want to see something because... So the Nobilius I got, I got at Momocon. And it's Pyrus one, like I said. And it's got some issues on closing. Um, and I, I was playing a whole tournament with it the other day. And it honestly did get kind of annoying. So I want to see if they... Fixed. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I hope they remake Pyrus Nobilius now. Uh, these, uh, excuse these, these little sharp pointy feet um, actually were really loose on mine. They would just kind of. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to show you. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's already doing it actually. See this? That's a problem. So these little feet 
would not clamp on this little nubby right here. And they just kind of pop off, like if you just kind of tap it, see that? Um, and if you have a Nobilius, you know exactly what I'm talking about, because everybody's is doing this. Um, so, uh, if we can get a later model of this, or if you can somehow figure out if they did another line of it, or, I don't know. If you can get another one, because this is a very good Bakugan to have, in general. Uh, I just have this one for kind of collection purposes. The Evo's supposed to be okay. Um, I don't know if I can show the... Yeah, I think somebody told me to say something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> In other news, this is a good Bakugan, and this thing is kind of broken, and this one's not, so they improved. Very good. Spin Master, and thank you for that. Let's just check out the cards. I'm going to open that a little bit. Boom. Nice. Um, check out the card. So, Double Green Fist. Very cool. Um, in contention with a Chaos Pegatrix, that's a Green Fist Bakugan. Maybe a partner to it, even. Um, but 600B is nothing to uh, cry about, and one attack is... <laughs> but that's okay because you're working with green fists uh, and if you land on a green fist or excuse me if you win the battle you get to attach a green fist to this bakugan so you get more damage so it's what 150 plus three is the normal green fist two yeah so uh you're getting five damage off of this so 605 essentially is not bad whatsoever so if we get a pretty cool evolution out of this which again i think i heard is pretty cool that this might be pretty neat um so be on the lookout for nobilius ultra and chaos it comes with a flip card i don't even know what this is chaos curse uh cool art it's the darkest maxator which you don't see very often uh but four cost destroy an evo card not awful um awful cost though i would like to see that two or three um but cool none the least so um this is something that is kind of neat because this is like a first which came out in wave one right orless dragonoid so this is a reprint of a wave one bakugan and i feel like feels weird that we're like looking back on older waves now because I mean the game still feels pretty new to me but like this is like a throwback almost uh, and it's nice because it doesn't have Dragonoid disease anymore <laughs> it uh it the old ones if you didn't know the tails wouldn't like hold the head down and you'd get a pretty bad like um like folding up of the neck that would hurt your rolls pretty bad if you didn't roll it the right way or if you caught it on the edge it would just kind of shank off to the side so this is actually really nice to have um even though i and personally this bakugan's kind of outclassed by a couple other things that do the same thing so like the magic shield way um Halcor definitely outclasses this or less wise uh, you can even say that Krakelios Ultra even outclasses this a little bit. The only thing that's really cool about Dragonoid and Orlis is it's really cheap Evo. Uh, yeah, really cheap Evo uh, Hyper Dragonoid. Um, gives you a pretty good boost in B power and attack. Um, which, I mean, some people like that and it's more early on. So if you can get that turn one, you have a pretty nasty Bakugan turn one. That was really cool when we were playing him. If you watch a lot of our old videos, we were playing this a lot. So uh, it's nice to have another one that uh, leaves me room to customize one of the other ones. So uh, I'll be hitting up somebody soon, probably Nightmare. Ooh, I bet she could do something cool with that. Mm, that'd be dope. Oh yeah, we're doing that. Alright, cool. <laughs> um, let's see, so Constrictor, flip card. Uh, again, I like these. It's a Green Fist or Helix. Helix isn't played too, too much right now. That might change with this guy up here. But anyway, let's go to Trino. So this is my first Trino. Um, it's a dinosaur. It's not a Rhino. It's a Triceratops. Um, so I like it because I like dinosaurs. That's why I like Trox. So uh, this is pretty cool. Um, it's an Aquas, and I don't know, let's just check it out. So, he's basically Tritonium, uh, with a horn, and if you don't do the manual parts, he kind of looks like a Rhino, but then, psych, he is a Triceratops. Oh, they're individually manual. That kind of sucks. Um, whatever. I don't really mind manual parts anyway. Competitive-wise, it doesn't matter whatsoever. So, uh, he's pretty cool, man. I like him. He's kind of got like this little... Oh. Well, now he's just, now he's literally just Tertonium. <laughs> Hold on. So that little thing is really the only difference in his model from Tertonium. Uh, because the feet and the bottom are all the same and everything. So, I love it though. He's a dinosaur. So now we have a Triceratops and a T-Rex. Um, 
hit me up, uh, Spin Master, if you want to uh, have dinosaur recommendations for more Bakugan. I think a Brontosaurus Bakugan would be sick. Or like a Stegosaurus Bakugan. Or any other dinosaur. Give me an Ankylosaurus. Anyone. That'd be dope. And like his tail like swings out to the side, smacks you off to the side. That'd be dope. Hit me up. I have ideas. Alright, anyway. So, my first Trino is an Aquas Trino, and it's a Red Shield and Green Fist with 305, which isn't awful, um, but it's 300 is just a little low for me, but you're playing Aquas, so you obviously know you have all those really cool options. Um, so, we'll have to see Evos to judge on this. And I don't really know what Trino's house faction is. I don't think anyone does yet, unless it's Auralus, because he's in the carrying case for Auralus. Um, so we'll have to see about that. Anyway, Mud Pit, four costs, uh, 400B, and then Flow, if you played another card this turn, four Frost, two. Uh, so that is neat. Um, everybody's trying to figure out how to get Frost Strike to work better since the ruling changes from Momocon, and uh, that is one of your options, so cool. All right, so this is the one I'm looking most forward to in this opening, and I love it already. Jesus, it's gorgeous. Uh, Pyrus Nilius Ultra. Um, so we're used to seeing Nilius and Darkus. We're really used to seeing Nilius and Chaos because of HD Index. Um, but this is the first rendition of it in Pyrus, and I think that we need. What do we need? We need a Aqu We have Aquas. That's out. And we need a Ventus one now. Oh, we also need an Orlis one, and we'll have all of them. Ooh, an Orlis Nilius Ultra would be cool. That needs to happen. Um, anyway, uh, I love this sculpt. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's around. Get you a Darkest one. They're pretty cool. Pretty good deck. Comes with it. This thing's going to be cool too, though, so let's check it out. So we have a Pyrus Nilius Ultra, and it comes in a double Helix set. So um, it's 200B, which sucks or whatever uh three attack but again you're playing helix so we actually have a decent set of options here on the table um and let's, let's check my uh 200b 600 500 uh, 600 that's a trap all right so we have these um so they range in different things so if you want way more b power you can get 600 and minus three attack or to me, the better option is to just take your 500, especially since he's already getting the bonus uh, of the 200. This actually puts you at way less of a risk. Uh, well, actually, if you think about it, th that actually would mean you want to do this now. Because if you're getting 200B, it puts you over... Oh, no, wait, no, mind. Okay, I'm thinking wrong. Anyway, I would play this. Anyway. Uh, but you have options like this, where it's like plus five attack, so it's like a crazy attack stat, um, but then you would lose your, like, bonus. So, Helix is weird because there's a bunch of different options for you, um, and I'm assuming that eventually we're going to get some really cool options, and I want to see the Evo for this guy. If this Evo's good, this Bakugan's going to be pretty insane, um, because if they give you a good bonus off of this Helix, it also gets a double strike. I, did, I guess I didn't really touch on that, but, I mean, that's pretty, pretty cool. So you're looking at basically... 906-ish, kinda, no, 900 would be like 904, but uh, I like this Bakugan, I wanna try it out, um, stick it in some kind of deck somewhere, make it happen, I don't know. But, uh, we have a Spontaneous Combustion, four cost, make a Pyrus attack for four, um, I don't know if you really wanna be doing that, um, if you really push in the burn deck idea, go for it. Um, not a big fan for me though. All right, so let's talk about some awesome stuff uh, from Kimbo. He actually gave me, he signed every single one. Wow. Kimbo, you're the freaking best, dude. <laughs> I love talking to you like off to the side and stuff. I'm so sorry I didn't get to meet you at Momocon, but I got like a million Kimbo cards and I'm so glad he sent them to me. He signed every single one. One is going in the vintage section of my binder forever in a sleeve and I'm going to take good care of it and I think I actually have some cards of mine getting uh, made right now Kimbo so I'm definitely going to send you some of mine as well uh, so we can kind of trade but yeah uh, this is Kimbo uh, link down in the description if you haven't checked him out yet if you're watching my channel I'm pretty sure you're watching Kimbo anyway but um, if you haven't yet go check Kimbo out he's an awesome dude he posts like five videos a day Bakugan, Beyblade, everything 
Um, he's a huge lover lover of the game. He's got tattoos of Bakugan stuff all over his body. He's got Beyblade stuff tattooed all over his body. Uh, he, he just loves this stuff, and you can really feel it uh, in the passion he puts out in his videos. So uh, I'm really glad he sent me this and was able to give it to Wonton to give it to me. So um, anyway, guys, that was a massive massive unboxing uh i'm glad you were here for it uh i am really excited for some of these bakugan this thing is sick but anyway thank you guys for sticking around uh we have a cool uh diamond unboxing tomorrow so stick around for that or maybe not tomorrow i don't know uh life's kind of hard right now i might take a second <laughs> but i will see you guys next time in the next video thank you for watching leave a like and a comment down uh in the comment section talk about this cool stuff what kind of cards do you think you would run with this stuff what kind of Bakugan would you pair with this? What kind of Bakugan would you pair with a Nobilius? I actually kind of want to talk about that. I think that'd be pretty neat. Put that down in the comments section. Order yourself a Matrix mat while you're down there. And uh, we'll see you next time, guys. See you later. Bye.